Hey beautiful people, it's your boy Joshua Martin. It's been some time since I made that update video on the Blackmagic Pocket when they made the firmware update to 6.6. .6. Um, and I did a little more deep diving on the features that I really wanted to know about, which was the anamorphic. And in all honesty, the anamorphic mode or feature in the Pocket 4K, all it is is a de-squeeze option. They didn't do anything special. There's no um, electronic stabilization or anything like that. So all it is, you're getting a, much, a better preview if you're not using an external monitor so you can see on your camera. Um, right now, I was focused heavily on the two times anamorphic mode, which, which allows you to obviously de-squeeze the two times anamorphic uh, in camera. Uh, but that was limited at only a 2.8K resolution at 80 frames a second um, for your highest frame rate. But if you have a 133 adapter or 133 anamorphic lens, you actually have a lot more flexibility with the Pocket 4K in terms of resolution and frame rates. And in this video, I'm just going to just show you some of that and what it is. So you'll have more options for anamorphic than just the two times. And sometimes, even though the two times anamorphic is the most pleasing in terms of the aesthetic, the organic feeling, the oval bokeh, oval, oval bokeh, bokeh, wow, however you want to say it. The one through three option gives you a lot more resolution options as well as frame rates. And I'll show you just how to do that in camera. For the testing, I'll be using the PL Anamorphic from SLR Magic, the 50, probably the nicest focal length I think on the pocket itself. Um, there will be a, a review of all three lenses coming very soon, just like I did with the two times anamorphic, and uh, stay tuned for that. There are plenty of other options out there right now, especially what series, Siri, Siri is doing. Um, they're releasing their own one through three anamorphic, um, as well as you have adapters and other options too. So really, I'm just focusing on the one through three aspect of this. So I just wanna quickly break down the one through three options versus the two time anamorphic options on the Pocket 4K. Now in order to access the decrease mode for the one through three anamorphic lenses or adapters, you'll have to navigate to your monitor menu, tap on both, and then tap on one through three. The only option you cannot use the one through three decrease is the 4K crop at 2.4 to one that's only for spherical lenses. As you can see here, the 4K DCI, I can use the full sensor up to 60p at 133 anamorphic. For Ultra HD, you get up to 60 frames a second. For the 2.6K 16x9, you get up to 120 frames per second windowed. And in regular HD, you get up to 120 frames per second windowed as well. Now the affordable two time anamorphic lenses are the VESA and the SLR Magic lenses that are out on the market right now. Those are the full house, housed lenses that you can probably purchase for under $4,000. So it's relatively cheap, but yeah, I just wanted to just give this information out there. Um, like I said, there's a lot more flexibility in how you want to use anamorphic on the pocket. You're not just stuck with two times anamorphic. You have a lot more options. Sure, you don't get as much, you know, anamorphic aesthetic with a 133, depending on the sensor size, because it's a smaller sensor, but there is another option. So I just want to share that with you all. Let me know what your thoughts, um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.